Chief of Engineers. We're on the road again with the Nashville District. Today we're down here at the Kentucky Lock and Dam, and I just went through the old Lock and Dam. We're not going to show it to you, but it was built in 1944, and it only locked, allowed a lock of about 600 feet of barges to go through. Tony Ellis is with me, the resident engineer, and we are going to go inside the new Lock and Dam. And if you look to the left and the right, you'll see those intake structures that were about 100 feet down right now inside the new Lock and Dam. Tony, take us on a walk, okay? Let's go. So Tony and I have just walked about 150 feet down the intake structure, and now we're right at the heart of the bottom of the lock. Tony is a resident engineer here. Tony, can you tell the core family a little bit about your project? Yes, sir. We're at the intakes, at the bottom of the intake structure at the cover valve location. Uh, the new cover valve will be 15 by 15 in feet and will allow us to fill and empty the 1,200 foot chamber in approximately the same time it takes to fill the 600 foot chamber of the existing lock. This will cut down on the delays and, and help the towing industry and, and help us be more competitive in the global market with the products that we move up and down the river. Tony, I understand that of this entire system, this particular lot, the old Kentucky lot, is actually one of the areas that has the largest delay on the river. Can you talk just a minute about that? Yes, sir. Uh, the, the delays at this at the existing Kentucky lot are between 12 and 16 hours, and, and it costs the, the towing industry about $500 an hour for every hour that the boat is set in the So the quicker we can get the, the new lot finished, the, the quicker we can, we can reap the benefits as a nation. So this is all about helping support the economy, finding better ways of shipping our goods, and the more we can make these economical and a good value to the nation, then everyone's going to benefit. I just want to end by saying this project has been going for a long time. We've got about $450 million of concrete in the ground. All this concrete has been built. The challenge is we've got to be able to continue to be able to fund this project the rest of the duration because we've got such a critical investment now, we've got to see this through to finish. Tony, we say all the time, I mean, we're Army strong in the Corps, we're building strong. This one, we got to make sure that Congress and the Corps of Engineers working side by side can make sure we're finishing strong. And we appreciate all the work that you and the Nashville team have done to make that happen. Thank you. All right, so deep inside the new Kentucky lot, Major Lieutenant General Todd Seminite on the road again.